let us now look at example 3 the question says two parallel chords of a circle of diameter 20 cm lying on the opposite sides of the center are of length 12 cm and 16 cm find the distance between the chords so this time we have got two chords right unlike example 1 and example 2 where there was only one chord and we are supposed to find out the length of the chord or the radius but now we have to find out the distance between the two chords what is given there are two parallel chords and uh, they are in a circle which has got a diameter of 20 cm and they lie on the opposite sides of the center right so one is on left side of the center let's say and the other is on the right side of the center and the length of these two parallel chords is 12 cm and 16 cm so based on this let us find out the distance between the two chords so let's construct the diagram properly let's say this is the circle and the two chords are as follows this is ab is one chord and let's say uh, you know cd is the other chord c and d are the other chord so you see a b and c d are parallel right may not exactly look parallel there but the idea is that a b and c d are two parallel chords and they are lying on opposite sides of the center so one is on the left side the other is on the right side or you can take one on the top the other at the bottom now we also know that the lengths of uh, these chords are 12 cm and 16 cm so let's say uh, the length of ab is 16 cm right this is 16 and the length of cd is 12 we also know that the diameter of the circle is 20 diameter is 20 implies radius is 10 right so let's say the radius is 10 now if you observe i can see this is the center of the circle right so let's connect ao and co right this is radius which is 10 here also this is the radius which is 10 all right we know that from the center of the circle if we draw a perpendicular on the chord it will bisect it right so this will be 8 this also will be 8, 8 plus 8, 16. Likewise, from the center, if I draw a perpendicular on this chord CD, it will get bisected. So, this will be 6 centimeter, and this part will also be 6 centimeter. So, what happens here? Now, it looks like the same example 1 and example 2, but with two different chords. We know that the radius is 10. We know that this length is 8, and this length is 6. Can you find out these distances? Yes. Once you get the two distances, add them to get the distance between the two chords. Let's say this is D1, and this is D2. Now, you know that uh, let's let's say this point is uh, x and this point here is y, right? This point is y. So we can clearly see that OAX is a right angle triangle. OCY is also a right angle triangle. Apply Pythagoras theorem. Now without giving all those details, you know what a Pythagoras theorem would give us? D1 square equals to hypotenuse square. 10 square minus this uh, perpendicular square. I mean this base square, 8 square. So 10 square minus 8 square is uh, 100 minus 64 36 36 so from this d1 is equal to 6 centimeter likewise if you apply uh, Pythagoras theorem on the second right angle triangle what do we get d2 squared d2 squared will be equal to hypotenuse square 10 squared minus this length square 6 square so 10 square minus 6 square is 64 right 100 minus 36 64 from which we can say d2 is square root of 64 which is 8 centimeters now what we need is the distance between the chords right so the required answer that is the distance between the chords is d1 plus d2 how much is that 6 plus 8 14 centimeters that's your answer right so it's all about you know drawing the diagram properly if you get struck while drawing the diagram then it may get a little complex right so if you can draw it in such a way that you can easily form the right angle triangles you can easily apply Pythagoras theorem finding out the required answer is uh, not a big deal right so that's about two parallel chords right and if you observe all the three examples are based on the same concept what is that concept from the center of the circle if i drop a perpendicular it will bisect the chord right if you drop a perpendicular on the chord it will bisect the chord right so based on that simple point we can solve many such questions from circles let us now take the next example